All right, what's going on guys? Chad here with Greenlight Shooting and welcome back to another video, man. Today, we're talking about quite possibly the most interesting handgun that I've ever shot. For sure that I've ever been sent. This thing is a beast. So this, uh, the handgun itself is called the PSD. It is made by a company called FK BRNO. I think they say FK Bruno, but I'm not sure. Uh, I believe it's a European company, but they do have a US market as well. And uh, they're, they're branching out with this thing. So a little bit of background about this gun real quick. It fires this round right here, which is a proprietary round made by these guys called 7.5 FK. Uh, a little bit of background on that. Basically, it was designed to meet certain government requirements, like a, like a new contract for a new round of ammunition. Uh, they required a couple things. A, that it be extremely lethal. Uh, B, that it be extremely accurate at distances beyond what a standard handgun would be used to. So they call out like 50 to 150 meters. And there were a couple other things like velocity and energy and what they call their dynamic shock index, which uh, relates a lot to that lethality point. So um, it also couldn't recoil, I believe, more than a full size 1911. So that's kind of the, what they had to create. They created this round and met all those specs, but there was no firearm that it could actually work with. So FK developed their own. That was originally called the Field Pistol, and it's a beautiful gun. It's a work of art, man, but it's like $7,500. So it was out of the reach for most people. They have since come out with this guy, which is called their PSD. It is a polymer gun, significantly more affordable, still shoots this round with a couple extra goodies. So let's open this thing up and look at it real quick. Boom, so that's what we're seeing right here. We've got the gun, we've got a few extra magazines. We've got some other accessories here that we're gonna get into in just a minute. So if we pull this guy out, you can see it is a monster, man. This thing is, it's a beefy, full-size handgun for sure. It's got a pretty thick uh, kind of structure up here in the front. And I can tell you one of the first things that I noticed is that it's very dense. It feels very heavy, especially here in the front. And again, we'll get to that in just a bit. But this gun is primarily designed to shoot the 7.5 FK round, which is basically like a little rifle round coming out of a handgun. It's designed for lethality. So this is a design that can actually handle this kind of power safely and accurately. But they also realized that with this being a little bit more of a scaled down version of that field pistol, at least in terms of affordability and things like that, you can't always rely on consumers wanting to shoot this. I mean, it's like, it's not crazy, but it's like over a dollar a round, like a dollar 20 to a dollar 50 a round. There's a couple different versions of it. That starts to get expensive when you're out at the range training like you would with a handgun, right? You're shooting a paper target, you're shooting a steel, you're just out having fun. Uh, that starts to add up really quick. So they developed a multi-caliber system for this guy. So it'll shoot the 7.5 FK. It'll also shoot 10 millimeter and it'll also shoot nine millimeter plus P plus. So that's a really dope setup to be able to shoot those different calibers and get a little bit more training in for your money. So let's go over a couple of the tech specs on this guy and then we'll get into my thoughts while using it. So this thing has a 5.3 inch barrel and it weighs 38.8 ounces. Overall length is just over nine inches with a width coming in at 1.2 inches. The frame is made of polymer, while the slide itself is made of a high strength steel. Up on top for sights, you have three dots, two small white dots in the back with a U opening and a red dot as your front sight. Now there is also, uh, every slide of these comes pre-cut and ready for like a red dot optic. So take that off, you've got a couple different mounting options on there for pretty much all major styles of red dots. So that's awesome to see that it comes ready to roll like that. Uh, underneath, obviously you do have a picatinny rail so you can throw on any type of accessory that you want. It does have a manual safety with a very positive click up and down. They call out these side charging handles to give you a little bit more leverage while you're racking it back and forth. There is a slightly textured grip. It's nothing too aggressive, but it's probably better than it just being smooth. Magazine capacity, you're looking at 16 rounds for the 7.5K ammo. You're looking at 10 rounds for 10 millimeter, and you're looking at 17 rounds for nine millimeter. 
You've got a lifetime warranty on the frame and the slide and a two-year warranty on all wearable parts. So that's kind of a quick rundown of the tech specs here. There are a couple things I left out because I wanna show you on camera here. So number one is that it can change calibers. We discussed that. So right now I've got the nine millimeter barrel in and uh, to change it is actually extremely easy. I was pretty worried that it was gonna be, you know, something you needed tools, something like a 1911 where it's kind of difficult with the front spring and stuff, but they kill it. They've done such a good job in terms of the ease of breaking this thing down. So number one, obviously clear it, magazine. Uh, and then here on the side of the gun, there are two dots. There's a dot on the slide and there's a dot on the frame. If I bring that dot back to lining up with that other dot and then I push the safety up, it locks it in that position. That is so, so nice. Instead of like a 1911 where you kind of have to hold it there and then punch out the pin, this thing has a hard stop. I love that. I cannot say enough good things about that. On this side, uh, you have this little pin, push that through and then just lower that safety, take the slide right off. So super, super sleek. Uh, inside you've got a spring right here and then here's another interesting thing. There is like a counterweight here on the front of the slide. And that's what's adding all that weight I was talking about earlier. Um, and it's just a, it's a recoil attenuating system, I believe they call it. I mean, it is what it sounds like. It's a bunch of weight on the front so they can handle shooting giant rounds like this. And the recoil is, is still manageable. And then obviously while shooting a nine millimeter, it's the recoil is non-existent. So uh, a really, really cool setup there. Take the barrel out. That's the nine millimeter barrel. Uh, there is the 10 millimeter barrel. And here is the 7.5 FK barrel. So throw that in, boom, line it up. Throw the counterweight back in the front here. Then there are two different springs, one for the nine mil setup, one for the 7.5. So we're going 7.5 and we just reassemble like we took it off. By the way, I would also like to point out how the entire uh, slide here fits into the entire frame. There aren't just a couple points where they're meeting together. Uh, that just helps with overall recoil and accuracy. Look at that, boom, throw that in. Bring this back to lining those two dots up. Throw the safety up. Gosh, that's such a nice feature. Throw this guy back in there. Drop that safety, let it forward. Functions check. Boom. So easy to switch out calibers, to field strip and clean. That was the main thing that I was really concerned about with this style of pistol, and they absolutely knocked it out of the park. So now let's talk about my experiences while using this thing. I got to take it out to the range and uh, shoot a couple hundred rounds through it. So I, I, first I took like a hundred rounds of this 7.5 through it, and let me tell you, that thing, oh my goodness, has a lot of power. Like you could just feel the amount of power shooting this thing. Recoil wise, it had a lot of recoil. Like, let's just get that out there. Not a ton of recoil. It's not like shooting a 50 cal, like a Desert Eagle or a 44 mag or something like that. But it's like, it's like shooting a 1911 or something that like, you know, you feel the recoil, no doubt. It's not uncontrollable for sure. As long as you've got your, your fundamentals of shooting it, it is very, very controllable, but it has more recoil certainly than like, I don't know, for me, I'm used to shooting like full size nine millimeters. Obviously it's gonna have a lot of recoil compared to that. Um, so it just, you know, you gotta, you gotta adjust a little bit, but once you're used to it, um, just feeling the power that this freaking round has is amazing. Beyond that, it's extremely accurate. Uh, it calls out point of aim accuracy at out to 100 meters. I didn't go that far. There is a brace they make, by the way, for like standing shots. It kind of like folds right here, goes up against your shoulder, gives you a little bit more stability going out to distance like that. I didn't have those things, so I didn't want to take those kinds of shots. It's been proven in lab results and, and, and tests by these guys that point of aim accuracy at 100 meters. Pretty, pretty amazing. I only took it out to about 25 yards or so. Um, I, I shot between like five and 25 yards and I found the accuracy to be absolutely spot on. It was a blast to shoot. Oh my goodness. Basically that was a five round accuracy drill. Here's where we ended up at. That was five rounds.
But uh, you know, at some point, you've got to say, how many times do I want to shoot this thing spending a dollar fifty around? And uh, so. I wanted to switch this thing over to 9mm, so I swapped out the barrel and decided to run 9mm. Now, I'm still not sure, but on the website it does say 9mm plus P+. I thought that just meant it was rated for plus P+, so I just ran your standard 9mm 115 grain ammo through it. Um, I don't think it's designed for that kind of ammo, I think it's supposed to be plus P+, uh, but Whatever, I ran it through it and it worked great for the most part. Um, I did have a couple malfunctions, but I'd probably say like, seriously, like 90% of the shooting was fine. I did experience a couple like stove pipes and things like that, which I've got to attribute to, to certainly user error, but probably because I was just using that standard nine mil. Um, so with all that being said though, the recoil is non-freaking existent. It's amazing. <laughs> Oh my gosh! That feels like a BB gun after shooting the last round. <laughs> oh my gosh! Also, come here. I wasn't even aiming. I like double stacked those shots. That's like seven yards away. This 9mm is dope. Like, it felt like shooting an air gun. Like a little BB gun handgun. I mean, it was amazing. You just, you just never lost your sight picture. Um, so that was a lot of fun. And honestly, <laughs> I might still look past the couple of malfunctions shooting standard 9mm just to be able to shoot this thing cheaply and to have as much fun as I had shooting it with no recoil. Now, obviously, I would certainly recommend following the specs that they recommend, and I probably will moving forward, but it was cool to know that it would function with 9mm. Um, I would love to be able to throw an optic on there. I shouldn't have a spare one on me at the range, but I think that would make a big difference. These sights were okay. Uh, they were a little small for me. I would definitely like uh, an optic. Now let's also talk about the trigger though. The trigger is fantastic, man. Like it's about as good as you could ask for out of any handgun trigger. Like it's got a very, very clean take up to a wall. Boom, like it feels so smooth. Hits that wall, very, very solid wall. There's absolutely no mush, no creep. It's a very, very clean break. And then as far as the reset, you can hear it, you can feel it. And it, it, again, there's, there's no creep up to it. It's just a smooth take up, boom, and break. So the trigger is fantastic. Like I'm a huge fan of this trigger. Honestly, I'm a huge fan of this gun in general. If I did have any cons, um, number one, it would be I think the fact that I can't shoot standard 9mm. That's obviously user error, that was my misunderstanding, but if I can shoot 9mm, I definitely got a couple uh, stove pipes. If I can't, whatever, it's not a big deal, it just raises the price and the barrier to entry a little bit more, um, and you know, whatever, you have to spend a little bit more on ammo to train with it. Other cons, and it, it's not even really a con because it's also a pro, but it's how heavy this thing is. I mean, it's incredibly heavy, but because of that, it can stand up to the recoil that this thing produces. It can make nine millimeter feel non-existent, uh, but I can just imagine, you know, if you're trying to carry this thing on a, on a regular basis, it's gonna start wearing you down. Which brings me to my next point. There are holsters out there from my understanding. Their website says out of stock, so I don't know about that. Um, there's probably some other ones out there I haven't looked, but, uh, it's gonna be a heavy thing, right? Like it'll probably work as like a duty pistol, like on an outside the pant, maybe drop leg holster or something like that. Uh, but I mean, you're not gonna be concealed carrying this. At least I'm not going to be. It's just a little on the heavy side and the large side, at least for someone with my frame to even consider concealed carrying. Now I don't think that's their purpose. They're not trying to make a concealed carry gun here. If I'm gonna carry this, I'm definitely gonna carry it on like a very, very robust outside the pant or even drop leg holster for sure. But the idea of having this thing on you is a great peace of mind. Obviously, if you're in the line of duty, but even for guys like me, maybe I'm, I'm hiking out in the mountains in, in Utah. You know, you never know what kind of big game is out here. Maybe you're, you're a salmon fisher. You know, you've always got to wonder about bears, things like that. This is a handgun that will give you peace of mind in those scenarios. And you've got 17 rounds of these in a magazine. I mean, that's where this thing really, really shines to me. It's not meant to be your sort of everyday concealed carry gun, but it is meant to be a very, very lethal defense weapon in situations, maybe government contracting, maybe line of duty, things like that, where you're reaching out further than distances that a standard handgun would allow you to, 
or for guys maybe working in the outdoors a lot who might encounter dangerous large game. There are so many things that I love about this gun. You can feel that it is extremely high quality. Uh, I love how the slide and the frame meet the entire way. I love how the trigger functions. It's such a good trigger. I love how they thought to just, just stock out of the door, make these things optic ready. That way you can make your own decision. Why doesn't everyone do that? Uh, Picatinny rails, uh, the safety, the, the, the ability to change barrels and the ease of changing barrels, the giant magazines, the recoil attenuating system. Price-wise, you are paying for a home run, you know? Like I said, their field pistol was $7,500, so that thing is, is crazy. Now they're coming in with this guy at a much more affordable price of $1,650. Now keep in mind, that is for the 7.5K version as well as the 10 millimeter conversion. If you want to add the nine millimeter conversion barrel and spring, that does add, I believe it's like $475. So that ups the price a little bit more, but it is an additional option if you want it. If not, you can still roll with the 7.5 and 10 millimeter setup, um, which, I mean, again, for those, for those critical scenarios, that's what you're running. So I think this thing is awesome. If you guys enjoyed the video, please do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe. If you were down for the ride, go show these guys some love, man. Check out the gun. If it's something that interests you, go pick one up. Tell them Greenlight sent you. And uh, that's all I've got for you guys. I will see you next time on Greenlight Shooting. Peace out.